bedside fan, bookshelf AC unit, personal cooling device, cold grapes, and it's now noon. By the time we picked a place to sleep last night, it was 5.30. Yeah. And then I watched the sunrise. I was asleep. <laughs> yeah, I was helping our neighbors set up camp a little bit. We already have dust kind of everywhere. We play tic-tac-toe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brittany and this is Drew and for the past five years we've been traveling the world by van and we just recently finished building Spirit, our fifth van home and first ever conversion. Subscribe and we look forward to sharing where this unpredictable adventure takes us all. Good morning everyone! From our beautiful front porch here at the Walmart parking lot in Reno, we have a lot of things to get done today, so we parked here out of convenience, and it was surprisingly very quiet and cozy, but Burning Man starts in just four days, and if you caught our last video where we drove from Wyoming all the way here to Nevada telling you the 11 reasons why we're so excited to be going back to the playa, then you've seen some of the super fun clips, the costumes, you learned about the culture of gift giving, so when it comes to bringing all the right stuff to the playa for nine days, we're going for the entire duration of the Burning Man experience this time. When we went back in 2015, we went for just five days, which was great for a first time. That was awesome to get our feet wet or feet dusty, I guess. But this time, we don't want to miss out on a thing. So we want to make sure that we have all the right gear so that we can share and be comfortable and well-fed and hydrated. We got a lot to get done over the next few days, and we're going to show you guys a little bit about what it takes to be burner ready. Let's do this. I've got the box. We haven't needed you for a while. Still see some dust in there and some faux fur. <laughs> see what's inside. That. Remember this? My old kicks from the playa. <laughs> it still smells like playa dust. Those are fun. Those are really fun. You should definitely wear those into Walmart. <laughs> I'm feeling the playa already. <laughs> we got a unicorn horn in there. And my bow tie. Perfect. This was that gift someone gave us that they made out of the nails from the Burning Man the year before. So authentic. Look at that. Can't find that anywhere. One of a kind. So it looks like this box was mostly full of my stuff. Babes, you're going to need to find some fun outfits too, aren't you? I got a checklist. Walmart first. You see that? That's snow out on those peaks. Hard to believe because it is about a hundred degrees out right now. It's very warm. Let's get into that air conditioning. Where do we begin? Garbage bags. Paper towels. Extra fresh deodorant. Baby wipes for showers on the playa. Bike horn. Lotion to help combat playa foot because their skin gets so dry out there with the alkaline dust. This should do the trick. White vinegar. The very last one. This is going to be what we use to clean spirit. Our entire van inside and out. And we have to pour it into our laundry. It cuts the alkalinity out of the playa dust. Looks like you have a birthday party to go to. I'm going to the bridal shower. Ah, uh, have fun. See you, Walmart. Wouldn't want to be ya. Thanks for the peaceful night's rest. Hopefully we won't see you again for a long time. Right in there. The uh, gate. Propane! just blew my mind. I expected to be filling like seven, eight, nine gallons worth of propane. It only took two and a half. We've last filled up in Oregon months ago. Wanted to make sure we didn't run out on the playa, but 
all we can do is top it off. So that was easy peasy. Next stop, we're going to the thrift shop. Guess you were already full of gas, Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> we're here! You want basically a different outfit for every day. It just makes it more fun for you. Plus, your clothes get covered in dust, and you don't want to put dust soaked clothes back on. Plus, you need a nice, comfy, warm set of clothes for the evening hours and maybe all through the night, depending on what night it is. Let's see what we find. We have about half of what we need, I'd say. Yeah, um, they close soon, so we gotta get rolling. We're going. Let's go. Don't mind if we do. This is actually the same store we came to back in 2015, where Drew found his pterodactyl outfit. <laughs> pterodactyl. Pterodactyl. <laughs> Baka! This is like the only store we need. <laughs> Yes, no? No. <laughs> I could wear this for the white party. How do I ride my bike in this? <laughs> Right now, we're on our way to a friend of a friend's house who let us ship a whole bunch of packages that we need to pick up for our experience on the playa. I don't know how we're gonna fit all of this in our van. I don't know how we're gonna fit ourselves in our van. Got packages from mom, a package from GoVan in Canada. Got my contact lenses. Oh, just in time. Just in time. We hadn't had an address to ship anything to since finishing our van build in San Diego, and that was in March. Go van! Thanks, guys! Brad, that's like you kissing on me as a driver. When the van is rocking, don't come knocking. What? That's the best! We have a new blanket new for the bed. bread. Hope you love Kula as much as I do. You actually use it to wipe when you pee. It's waterproof on the outside and antimicrobial silver infused material on the inside. So when I'm using the porta bodies on the playa and there's no toilet paper, I have a great leave no trace solution. How do you? Cool. Is it a keeper? It's a keeper. It's a keeper. A little AC unit for the van. Walkie talkies for communication across several miles. Matching silver pants. Replacement air filters for the van so no dust gets sucked into the motor intake. All right, Playa. For now, we gotta fit all this in the van and we'll see you guys in the morning. We'll see you in the morning. We have yeah. a lot to get done still. <laughs> As you can see, deciding to go to Burning Man is more involved than your average event. And we aren't even the ones helping to build this pop-up city in the middle of the desert. Simply preparing ourselves and our van is quite the undertaking. Good morning, everyone. Drew's over here, feverishly replying to every single comment. <laughs> Before we head to our friend's storage unit, Mike and Jess, you guys are the best. Thanks, guys. They're letting us leave our things there that we don't want the playa dust to attack. So whatever might get corroded or just... Covered and smothered. Covered and smothered, yes. And we're ready for another day of Burning Man prep. Buy a nice little spot next to the highway slash train dumpster. tracks. <laughs> Very handy dumpster too, yes. Look at that sick Burning Man. Oh, box. that's so awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you know Burning Man's right around the corner when there's burner vehicles in all the parking lots. We just got to the storage unit. Time to get some of this out of here. And Drew's in the back, removing our adventure gear so that we have less of a cleanup after the burn. And this is Van Haley. Look at these things on the back. Those things are serious. They taped off with plastic, the little crevices. They literally covered their entire floor with plastic underneath and then outdoor carpeting for on top. 
the attic area, which they've also taped off with plastic. They're going to tape off the entire front section with the same plastic covering. And they're going to use this. It's plastic on one side, kind of clothy, papery on the other side to cover all of their cushions. Van Haley is ply ready and Spirit's got some catching up to do. Iced coffee, Aussie bite for Brittany, and one ooey gooey peanut butter melty chocolatey nutter butter for our driver here. <laughs> our last stop of the day, Home Depot. I gotta run in here, grab some supplies. We need to ply proof the van. Woohoo! And you guys are gonna stay behind with me where I'm gonna be editing actually the beginning half of the video that you're watching right now because once we get to Burning Man, I don't want to have to be behind my computer. It's all about being present and blessing the playa with your presence, and I know that I'll just be able to have more fun if I know that my work is done. Work hard, play hard, right? So if you guys appreciate all of the love and hard work that I put into these episodes, go ahead and give this video some love. A subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to take it a step further, you can support us on Patreon. I'll put the link to that in the description for you below. And now I gotta get back to work. You should definitely wear those into Walmart. <laughs> Let's go. I also find it hilarious that as I'm watching our clips, I have like this huge smile on my face. I hope it has the same effect on you guys. <laughs> Still fit like a glove. Ridiculous. <laughs> Look who's back. I'm back. Got the goods. Oh. I should make room for you. Yeah. To summarize for us the basic essentials of playa izing our van. Air filters. They'll go in our windows so we can open up the flaps and allow a little bit of air to come in without the dust. Reflectix. We're actually going to cover 100% of our back doors because we don't want playa dust wedging its way behind our wooden panels over there. Fun noodle because we're going to cut this and put it on the frame of our bicycles wrapped under our fur. Ooh. We got drop cloth, kind of furry on the outside, so it won't stick to us, and plastic on the backside to prevent dust from getting onto our cushions. We're gonna wrap our cushions from the couch in this. A nice little brush and a spray bottle to spray vinegar and water all over the van to kill the alkaline stuff in the dust. All the post-burn tools we need to have a clean van. <laughs> We spent the night near some wild horses last night. Yeah. 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 The baby has blue eyes. Blue eyes? She must be so wow. cute. Wow. Wow, look at the baby. Oh, it's so tiny. And today we relocated to a campground where we just enjoyed possibly our last showers until after the playa. Drew here has been cleaning out the smaller half of our fridge, which we're going to be freezing. We're going to have popsicles, luxurious frozen meals, not TV <laughs> dinners though. Definitely not. We're going to have to not have so many chilled beverages, I think. Once this is done and lunch is in our bellies, next up is everything else. Hold tight. Wait for it. Here it comes! First step, covering up all of Spirit's holes. This is the S-Bar Heater Muffler. Holy spirit. <laughs> Holy, keep out the dust. Truth. I have to say, this little AC unit that we got for the playa is actually pretty amazing. It has three different levels of speed. It even has LED lights. Ooh. It's powered by a little USB, and I seriously feel like I'm being kept cool with a real air conditioner. It's pretty awesome. This was not as easy as a process as I thought it was going to be. Tell us what you're doing. This is the air filter that you normally use in a house and I'm putting them into our back T-vent windows so we can open up the windows, turn on the fan blowing outward, and it'll draw air in through the filters blocking the dust just like it would in your house and give us a nice airflow in the van. Just want to point out our handy noodles here. Drew had the thought of using them to cover the brands on the bike. Since Burning Man is a totally brand-free, non-commercialized event. This is my old Jansport Camelback. 
it needs some sprucing up. These straps are especially sad and dirty. So I've cut the scarf and I'm gonna go ahead and have some really fun, fluffy straps. Finally about to wrap it up for the night. We pretty much got everything done, didn't we? Pack it up. And the plan is, tomorrow we arrive to the playa. We'll see you in the morning. Roddy! Today's the day! The day that tens of thousands of people from all around the world fly in and drive in to co-create a world that is more beautiful than our imaginations can even conceive. And we can hardly wait. We're nearly done with all of our chores. It's been a lot of hard work and we just can't wait to be there to enjoy our present moments. More things to do and then we're there almost there's probably gonna be a lot of traffic along the way we heard our friends say that the longest they waited in line arriving on the first day of Burning Man was six hours but I think some people wait a lot longer than that I hope we're not one of those people but at least we have our entire house perks of family Brittany's last shower before oh. a long stretch in the dust we gonna miss this <laughs> just a little bit Well, that was an excellent choice. Now I know I'll be arriving to Burning Man as fresh as possible. And Drew actually decided to tape the outer cracks of our windows to prevent the dust from getting in there. We're all packed up now. Look at our bikes, so cute in there. Sealed up all the edges of our back doors. Put in a double layer of Reflectix. Fully sealed off our bedside windows. Phil, how many gallons of water are we going into the playa with? Uh, about 55. All we right. don't want to get dust in curious places and we want to keep hydrated. <laughs> Before we eat dust. <laughs> We're going to enjoy our final meal. We're heading in tonight. Starts at midnight. Let's see what happens. We're going to get off at this exit. Nice. Okay, we'll just follow you guys. Look, we got walkie-talkies with our friends now, too. Isn't that fun? <laughs> Good way to communicate. Less than two hours until we're on the playa. I can hardly believe it. And in the past hour, our entire Burning Man experience just got like a thousand times more exciting. Someone reached out through Instagram, and now we have a new friend, Shaden, who's been following us for, I don't know how long, but for a while. So he was so excited to meet us, and we're so excited to be walking, talking, following each other to the playa. He also picked up a hitchhiker, Julia, from Austria, who flew in to San Francisco, bought all of her food, stuffed it into two backpacks, and he saw her on the side of the road and picked her up, and now the four of us are heading to Burning Man together. <laughs> ah! The energy level has just went up. Ah! <laughs> Follow those fuzzy bikes. The winding red lights, the pilgrimage to the land of no Wi-Fi has begun. I've been driving for a while. I think I've been in this driver's seat for three and a half hours now. Brittany decided to take a little nap back there. Stop and go traffic. We're moving at the moment. Oh, that's a good sign. That's a very good sign. Welcome to the playa, guys. Smell that dust, man. Hope you got your AC on. You're recirculating. Switching it right now. Can you see that? It's currently 1 o'clock in the morning, and the moon just rose. Gorgeous. What an incredible sight over Burning Man as we arrive. 
Here, babe, you gotta stick this on your side of the windshield. Oh man, guys, we got our tickets. Look at these things. They're so beautiful. And we got our survival guide. You did it. You're going to Black Rock City. Being a citizen of Black Rock City means engaging and investing in the experience you create for yourself and those around you. Here's our program. Whoa, more amazing art. Look at that. Inside of here is like thousands of workshops. Whoa, all the events. It's been quite a journey getting here. It's what, like 3 a.m.? We've been in the car for five plus hours and we're this close to getting in the main gate. We just picked up our tickets from Will Call and we are all set. Ah, can't ah. wait. It's been such a treat getting to share this with you. If you appreciate us taking the time and effort and putting in the love into sharing this with you, then go ahead and show us with one of these a subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell because next week's episode is going to be epic. Burning Man, here we come! <laughs> Burning Man 2019. Metamorphosis. We'll see you out there. Bye guys. Peace. Love you.